Hello world, Shelly here, and I am back from Ireland. We are going to see if I remember how to do all of this. I, today, am going to do an eye look with the Natasha Denona, what is it, the Fez palette? This came in the July Ipsy. Now, I know it's August, and I could have skipped bringing out my July Ipsy box because I'm not sponsored or obligated. Ipsy sends me the, the glam bag and the boxy charm for free. Thank you, Ipsy, in PR as part of their creator studio, but uh, I don't get paid to do this. I don't have a script, nothing like that. But there were too many good things in the July box, so I didn't want to skip it, especially when you get a Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette, because I love Natasha Denona eyeshadow. So we're gonna do an eye look today. We're gonna see if I remember how to wear makeup, because I've been home for a couple weeks now, and uh, I've been barefaced the whole time. I just now unpacked my makeup from my trip. Anyway, we are starting out with something that came in the BoxyCharm. If you missed it, BoxyCharm and Ipsy merged, and so what used to be the Glam Bag Plus is now BoxyCharm. Five full-size beauty products. You get to pick three of them. It's $28 a month, and in there, we had these eye masks from Sweet Dreams. Is the name of the brand, the logo is so small that I can't read it. But they're the Sweet Dreams Collagen Glow Gold Eye Masks. That's the small logo I'm referring to. I don't know what that says. Uh, Sherlock is here somewhere. Glad to have Sherlock back. I did not have Sherlock with me in Ireland, but uh, my vanity's a mess. Uh, so I've been wearing these for about 15 minutes. Good way to... Uh, Start the morning. Oh, yay. Get that leftover goop. All the leftover goop. Whenever you have face masks or anything like this, eye masks, and you have extra serum, even when you take it off the backing, put it on the backs of your hands, take it down your neck. Like, don't let that goodness go to waste. That goodness is good. <laughs> Use it. All right. So that is where we are starting out. Some of the things that I will not be using in this video, but I wanted to show you what came. We got from Verb the Ghost Exfoliating Scalp Nectar in the Glam Bag, which the Glam Bag, you get to pick one of the items. You get five, usually deluxe sample size, and you get to pick one of them. It's $13 a month. From the Alicia Keys Soul Care line, we have a little mini of the Golden Cleanser. So that is a fabulous. Golden, is that what it says? Yes. I swear to you, on this trip, so I was gone for about five weeks, my eyes got worse. They just got worse. My eyes got worse. I can't read. And I get it. I'm like two months from 49 now. Uh, <laughs> I'm lucky that I'm not wearing reading glasses all the time. I pretty much only need them to like do my nails or like to to do like making earrings close up work but I think I'm I'm about I need I need them I'm gonna have to uh, duh, rah, rah. I've been fighting it for so long anyway happy to have that we got a head candy yeah lip butter we got makeup brushes you know i love me some good makeup brushes that's from toy factory and i think i'm gonna wear most of everything else well i might not wear the liquid liner we're gonna go for something pretty simple today this is the liquid coal liner from all right i gotta find sherlock because otherwise you guys are just gonna have to sit here and watch me not be able to read things well, I can only read part of it because it's behind the wrapper. Well, this is just... Why do you guys watch me? I'm a hot mess. <laughs> Thank you. I love you. <laughs> I appreciate you tolerating my hot mess. I'm going to definitely wear this. This is the Sweet Street. It's a glitter lip gloss. Uh, we got from TFB an eyebrow gel. We'll see. I'm... So obsessed with my Lawless that I'm pretty sure you can't convince me away from it, but... And of course we got the Natasha Denona. Oh, there was a 
Vitamin E face moisturizer from Malin and Goats. I'm probably mispronouncing. I hope I'm not. Oh, focus. Hello. There we go. That was in there as well. So, let's do this eye look, shall we? I should have bought a new paint pot while I was away. I did not. I finally panned mine. And the cool thing about the MAC paint pot, it never dries out. Like, you can use it all the way until the end. And that's, this is the only brand of, like, a cream shadow like this. Which, I mean, technically, this is like a cream shadow. I use it as a primer, but technically, it's like cream shadow. It is the only brand that doesn't dry out on me, ever. Like, you can use it all the way until it's gone. I will end up throwing it away just because I figure... I've been putting my grubby paws in it so much that when I get to the end like this, it's got to be dirty by now. <laughs> Even though I'm using a brush. Whenever my nails are too long and I stab myself in the eye too much, then I switch to using a brush. But I love the MAC Game Pot. It's one of those holy grails that, again, you're going to have a hard time convincing me to use anything else. It's just, it's that good. This is a brush I got at Boots. I already miss Boots. Oh, Boots, I love you so much. So this is the Natasha Denona palette. Look at me wearing warm tones. Very rare warm toned look we're gonna get today. Mine did arrive with a couple of cracked shadows. Now, Ipsy took care of that for all the people. If you did get a cracked shadow, you were able to contact them and they took care of it. I, of course, was traveling throughout July, so I didn't bother. Mine's not that bad. It's just a couple cracks. It's all good. I'm not worried about it. But they did take care of it if anybody had trouble. So bravo, Ipsy. I love you. The look I'm thinking of. So we've got, I'm thinking, transition, crease, outer corner, and a little bit of the crease, lid, and lower lash line. That's, that's where my head's at right now. We'll see. We'll see. Sometimes I go rogue. Wayne Goss number three. I'm going to start with that light shade that I'm calling Transition. Now, Natasha Denona shadows. I will say I love them, but they do require... I don't want to say finesse because that's not it, but I find that they do work better with better brushes. They're, they're, I don't want to use the word finicky either because that's too strong. They're obviously, I mean, you're watching me do this. They're not that finicky. Should I zoom you guys in? Wow, I feel like I've forgotten how to do, oh, I forgot how to YouTube. <laughs> I was filming a lot in Ireland, but I was doing it on my phone, so I, I'm, I'm way out of practice. It's sitting at the whole get up here. Let me, let me zoom these in so you can see my eyeballs a little bit better. Now let's just see how long it takes me to go out of frame where like you can't see what I'm doing. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. What was I saying? The, they're not finicky. They just take a little more work to blend out sometimes and they blend beautifully. But like if I'm using one of my less nice brushes, they will take more work. And if I'm using like my Wayne Goss brushes or my BK Beauty brushes or my Sigma brushes, they will apply much easier. So I do think there is something to be said for nice brushes. You can get makeup to work with anything, but some formulas will work better with some textures of brush and things like that so in the different cuts of the fibers and whether the fibers even are cut or not some of them are natural hair and they're not blunt cut so keep that in mind if you uh struggle with some of the higher end palettes like a natasha denona or a pat mcgrath for example um maybe it's a maybe brushes would help maybe maybe upgrading some not your whole brush collection you only need a couple couple good ones. I mean, I think there's five brushes I use on a regular basis and I honestly could throw the rest out. I won't. I'm a brush hoarder, but I could. So anyway, now I'm going to take my Sigma E25 and do that center orange shade. This brush needs to be washed big time. 
but do you see me doing it? No. <laughs> I actually, it was not, too, well, I don't know how long ago it was. It feels like it was not too long ago that I washed all my brushes, but by the looks of this one, I either missed it or it was longer ago than I think it was. I don't have any complexion makeup on yet. I don't usually do my eyes first, but since this has some dark, dark shade to it, I wanted to make sure I didn't have any fallout issues. Actually, honestly, <laughs> I just wanted to start filming. I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys. And if I had to do my foundation first, it was going to take longer to get to the fun part. So I'm doing this first. That, that's the truth. Dun dun dun, oh, this looks like the sunset. Now, this is my Smith 253. Am I remembering correctly? Yes. I love this brush. See that little shape? Oh, there's cat hair on it. See that little triangle point? That's why I love this brush. I'm gonna do... Hmm, I want that brown in the outer corner, but I think I'm going to take the orange, that center orange we just used, and I'm going to start with a little bit of a base just to minimize the risk of the brown going down too harshly or more harshly than I want it to, if that makes any sense. I'm kind of congratulating myself because... I accidentally left the battery on in my microphone before I left and I did remember to check it before I started filming and bravo because my mic would have died had I not checked it and replaced the battery. So that makes me feel smart like maybe I do know what I'm doing. Maybe. Oh this is actually not as harsh as it looks in the pan. It's got a nice red undertone to it, and I feel like that's kind of rare. The red undertone browns. Now I am gonna go in with a blending brush and take a little bit of this into my crease, but I'm just gonna start it here. And I'm taking it farther than I intend to wear it, but I wanna have something to pull the gold over, to layer over just a little bit as it, as it applies. So that is why I'm taking it a little farther toward the center. I like this brown. It just looked in the pan like a deep chocolate brown and on the lid, it looks like a, there's almost a brick red to it. It's still brown, but it's got like a red undertone. I'm liking this brown. I don't wear warm tones very often. I actually had to dig pretty deep in the closet to find a warm toned top. All right, we're gonna go in with that gold because I just do not have many warm toned things in my closet. Technically, I'm a neutral skin tone. In the winter, I lean slightly cool because I'm so pale, but I prefer the cool look. I prefer to look slightly cool. Maybe because I was never cool before, so being slightly cool is better than nothing. <laughs> uh, yeah. Remember in junior high when all you wanted was to be one of the popular kids? Just me? I actually tried, like, legitimately campaigned to be allowed to hang out with the popular kids and uh, <laughs> they didn't let me so <laughs> they're the ones I'm not friends with on Facebook anymore <laughs> oh where did that come from I don't even know all right Wayne Goss number 20 so I'm gonna go back into that brown with this little blending brush here and take a little bit into my crease. I'm not going to go all the way. Just the halfway. And kind of blur out the... Gonna, gonna say it again. Misha from Sugar Puff and Fluff. And the Outer 7 instead of the Outer V. For those of us that need a little lift 
in our outer corners, those of us that have hooded or droopy outer corners, hooded lids, you know. The outer seven, think of a seven shape instead of a V. Because if you draw a V, you're so low that when your eyes are relaxed, you're drooping it. If you draw a seven, when your eyes are relaxed, it's actually a V. You see how that works? Gives you a little bit of lift. And the first person I ever heard say that was Nisha at Sugar Puff and Fluff. So this looks like the sunset. It's very sunset-like. I kind of wish there was a reddish tone in here. You know what I'm thinking of? Remember the red in Modern Renaissance from Anastasia Beverly Hills? That's what's in my brain right now. I wish I had that red. Although, I will say, this brown mixed with the orange does have a little bit of that redness to it. Like it's it's doing a nice little orange moment. I'm okay with that. Now of course you could stop there, but if you want to add a little bit of babam, I can't find my Wayne Goss number five. Where are you, number five? Number five is live! Don't know where it went. Anyway, I've got the Wayne Goss number. I don't even use this one very often, so I don't even know. Number seven. It's just a little flat liner brush. I'm gonna take that blue and do just a little bit. Now, orange and blue on the color wheel are complementary colors. They are directly across from each other, so Whenever you have colors that are complementary, it is a good combo. You get a nice contrast, but it's not super loud, so to speak, and it works well. So if you're stuck picking colors and you don't know what to do, look at the color wheel and pick colors opposite each other. And at least then you have a slightly bold, but still calm, let's say, color combination. You're not going to be ruffling any feathers. You're just making a little statement. And that's how I like to introduce myself to new colors. Like, if I want to wear a color, like if I was super neutral and I'm like, but I want to try color, lower lash line is a great way to do it. You just get a little pop of color. And it's not a huge commitment, and it doesn't scream, <laughs> you know? But you're getting out of the box, and it gives you a little bit of visual interest, and it's something a little bit different, right? <sighs> I love Natasha Denona shadows. These mini palettes are actually a really nice way, if you're not an Ipsy member and you didn't get it in your box charm, they are a very nice way. You can buy a lot of these little five pan palettes too. They're good for getting your feet wet with a higher end eyeshadow if you want to know if you're cool with it or if you like them. Or if you are, you might as well stick with your ColourPop. You know me, I love, love my ColourPop eyeshadows because they're so easy. But these are a nice way to get acclimated to find out if it's worth investing in something more expensive if you want to go that route. All right, I'm gonna go put some complexion on since we don't have any, nope, I don't have any complexion products in my Ipsy for this month. I'm gonna go put some face on. I will be right back and we'll finish this off. All right, let's finish this off. I did line my lips with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Liner. I almost dug out a brown eyeliner to line my lips with eyeliner the way I used to do in the 90s because I'm just getting that 90s vibe from this whole thing. But I restrained myself and I just grabbed Pillow Talk. Let's try. This thing is so shimmery. It is from Sweet Street. Let me show you these shimmers. Can the camera even focus on this amazingness? I don't know. Can you see all that? gold glitter in there. Let's swatch it. Oh yes. It's a lip gloss with some shimmer. I'm excited. Let's do it. Oh yeah. 
you know what it looks like? It looks like a gorgeous duochrome eyeshadow when you do that first swipe. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. Mm-hmm. It does have a little taste. Fruity. This is friggin' cute. You can feel the glitter a little bit. But I am mad at it. You know me and glitter. Oh, I like looking at my 10X over here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You might be seeing a lot of this. All right. Let's zoom back out. Let's, uh... Let's get the full effect here. I know, the purple hair doesn't really go with this eye look, but that's okay. I need a haircut. I'm looking like a hippie. Look how long this hair is. Oh my goodness. I'm sad I didn't buy this color while I was at Boots. Got it at Boots in Ireland. Of course I did. Uh, didn't buy it. Don't even remember what it was. Oh well, such is life. Finished look. What do you think? Do I remember how to do this? All right, it was pretty basic. I can't, I can't really take a lot of credit for this one. But on the rest of my face, try, try not to fall out of your chair in shock. <laughs> Flower Beauty Heat Wave Bronzer, <laughs> Lawless Watermelon Crush. Why am I using the same things I've been using the whole time I've been traveling? Because that's all I brought with me. And now I'm at home and I have everything right in front of me. I can pick anything. Well, because I love these. And sometimes you just don't want to think that hard. Sometimes you just want to go with what you already know that you love. I'm also wearing the Natasha Denona Concealer, the new one. That has a name. I can't think of it. It has uh, the word glam in it. High glam. High glam concealer. And my brows are the Arches and Halos Espresso Pencil. Okay. I don't like the formula of this pencil very much. It's a super dry pencil. However, it's the only pencil on planet Earth that is the right shade for my brows. <laughs> so, can I put a plea out into the world? Arches and Halos, you either need a slightly more emollient pencil or Lawless, can you please make a pencil in this shade? Because I love your pencil formula, but your brown is too warm for me. I need a cooler toned brown. Anyway, I also have the Lawless Brow. I always want to call it brow gel. It's brow wax. Creamy brow wax. Hold up. This is the medium to dark. I love this stuff. I did not even put my Anastasia brow freeze in and it's still holding pretty well. So that is that. And then of course the little ipsy gift. Ha ha! Beautiful lip gloss. Anyway, candy paint. That's what that stuff's called. Sweet street candy paint. Here's the box. It's cute. It's really cute. I'm all right with that. There you have it. That is my July Ipsy. That is the Natasha Denona Fez palette. That is what I did with it. <sighs> Thanks for sticking around with me while I was traveling. I will be putting together a vlog of like all the scenery and things I did. Kind of just something to watch and be like, ooh, pretty. Because uh, I actually enjoy going back and watching my old Ireland vlogs, so they're kind of for me too. Because I just enjoy looking back and remembering all the things I did on that particular particular trip. So I will be putting together something like that soon. I've already got my August Ipsy box. I have not looked inside it yet. It's right there. Uh, so I'll be making a video with that. I have the... I bought a foundation on Beautylish <laughs> and I already lost it. It's here. Oh, here we go. Hold on. One minute, please. One minute. All right. It's a brand I've never tried before. MOB. And I bought the, I think this is the case, not the actual foundation. You buy the refills and then the cute little containers for them. And it sounded really good on paper, so I will have, this is the next foundation I'm going to film. So that'll probably be, I'm thinking this week, uh, fingers crossed, my, I had to stop the video editing service because they raised their prices and I can't afford it. So <laughs> we're gonna go back to my boring editing with the foundation reviews. Sorry, I'm just a boring editor, but, uh, 
yeah, couldn't couldn't afford the new rate. So uh, I am again without a video editor, but this will be the next one I film. M O M O B. I think that's what it's called. I think that's the brand. So keep your eyes peeled for that probably this Friday. There you have it. Another Ipsy box in the books. If you like eyeshadow looks, if you like tutorial walkthroughs, if you like get ready with me style videos, let me know in the comments. That tells me I should make keep making them, keep doing them. I enjoy doing them. <laughs> so let me know what you want. If you have anything you would like me to check out, I need to start a new list. I buy stuff whenever I can. And so I keep a running list of the things you guys request. And the more requests something gets, the more likely I am to buy it. So let me know in the comments what you would like to see me review. And as always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. I appreciate your time and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.